the following is a special presentation of Scarborough Television Sports. this guy this guy is the number one manager in professional wrestling he's got history behind him he's the first manager in professional wrestling history he is none other than Eddie the brain creature Eddie thanks for coming thank you very much Dave okay okay we're taking your calls here eight seven oh nine one seven eight you want to talk to Eddie of course the big card is uh, this coming Wednesday night June 24th down at Scarborough Arena tickets still available at Bass or you can get them at the Scarborough Arena box office. Eddie, I guess the first question we have to ask is uh, when you got your start in this uh, lucrative field? Are you asking the questions or is it the rest of the people? You just ask people to call me and ask me questions. Okay. First of all, before we get any calls, I'd like to tell you something, Dave. Yeah. I have nothing against you. I don't like you. Of course not. But I don't like this little studio it looks as if it's been hand painted with a brush i'm sitting on a hard chair a desk is this what you call a desk this is a fine a desk. piece of wood this is a I fine desk like this that. is fine old but i wood. guess we're in scarborough we're in a village so it doesn't matter you know you try and bring the right guests onto this show i've tried eddie you know i've tried you haven't tried i nothing. like our studio this chair is a well i'm chair. glad you this like it because you don't chair. know any better my boy okay uh, eight seven oh nine one seven eight you want to talk to the boss here eddie creature we've got a couple of matches we're going to show you also of uh some of the clowns that eddie manages uh, among these, Abdullah the Butcher. You know, I want to tell you this something, guy, young fellow. This fella. guy is You're 200 pounds. You're taking a lot of big chances. Mm -hmm. Because remember, there's a wall behind you. There's a floor in front of you. Which one would you rather hit? I don't know. The I don't floor or the wall? I don't see Abdullah around. Well, um, no. That's all you're going to see. No light and dark, my friend, if I plow into you. Go okay. ahead now. Let's get going. Okay. I'm here for business. Okay, Mr. Creechman Sr. Uh, first off, we're going to show a match to you. This is his tag team. They call themselves the uh, New Guinea Headhunters. The it? New Guinea Headhunters, yes. Who are these guys? Where'd they come None from? None of your business. They're wrestlers. Yeah. What do you mean, who are these guys? Oh. Is this how you address gentlemen? Well, you're not a gentleman, so otherwise... I'm not a gentleman. Oh, no. Well, I want to tell you something. You're being a little bit out of line with me, okay. and I don't like it. Okay, well, let's get back to business now. We're going to show you this match uh, in its entirety, uh, give you an idea. These guys uh, are on their way to uh, Scarborough, as is Abdullah the Butcher. So let's have a look at that match if we're ready for it right Scarborough, now. Scarborough, the let's village. <laughs> Coming up in this boat, wrestling fans led by Eddie the Brain Creechman, the Headhunters, and their opponent, the Hawaiian Punch, and also the great Mendoza in tag team action. Thank you. 
Here we go along the action with those coming up tag team action. Hawaiian Punch, Greg Mendoza going against the Headhunters. Real Dubé in the ring for this one. At ringside, Eddie the Brain Creature with an arm bar. Hawaiian Punch tagging out the Mendoza. And a question I want to ask you, Floyd Creechman, and I think a lot of the wrestling fans would like to know. When a new wrestler comes into the area, or a new one is available, and your father wants to manage him, and you want to manage him, how do you settle it? I'm a sports agent. I'm a sports agent. You know what a sports agent is? I, yes, look, I, for, I look for wrestlers with future potential. They sign their name on the dotted line, and I give them over to my father. And you don't manage any of the wrestlers? Yes, I manage. I have some wrestlers that I manage, like Jason, Richard Charlin, Pretty Boy Sims. But newcomers, like the headhunters that just came to international wrestling, my father manages them. And I see wrestling fans have wanted to know that. It's a give and take situation. You see, we're father and son. It's blood, so it don't really matter. The money goes to the same place. I see. Anyway, in the ring now, it's... Uh... Mendoza's on the outside, so it has to be Hawaiian Punch inside against one of the headhunters. And of course, outside the ring, and you can see him in the right left hand co right corner, rather, is Eddie the Brain Creature with the green jacket and the Holding the torch, and holding the torch. Is that what he is? He's yeah. carrying the torch for them, in right? In case his cigar goes out, he'll just light, light it up the again. Cigar. That's very, very good. Headhunters coming at, ooh, that Hawaiian Punch has got some beautiful moves. Two new top teams to international wrestling, Hawaiian Punch and the Puerto Rican Grand Mendoza, or Great Mendoza, I don't know how he calls himself, and the Headhunters trying to climb that ladder, looking for tag team championship belts. Well, the Headhunters... No way, they're not they're coming here from the islands, and they're not gonna, they're not gonna take the belts away from Charlene Sims. Nice move on the part of the Headhunters there. Ooh. Well, that's one way of taking your opponent down quickly. At least they work as a combination. Another move like this coming off the top rope. Down goes Mendoza. What's the referee doing? The referee's disqualifying him for going in the third rope? No, he's disqualifying him for outside interference. Outside interference. That wasn't called for. That was, a, that was a bad call on the referee's part. No, that's a good call. The referee threw the match out. Too many times the headhunters doubled up in the ring and finally the referee said this is enough. The winner of the match, the great Mendoza and the Hawaiian Punch take the fall and the match over the head headhunters. I shouldn't say a fall there, I should say that match was thrown out and the winners were Mendoza and Hawaiian Punch. But well, we're going to see what they're going to do when they face Richard Charlat and pretty boy Chuck Sims, the Californian blonde, for the belt. The belts will be up on the line. Coming to all your arenas. Well, I think they're very compatible. Mendoza and the Hawaiian Punch make a great combination. Well, there you go, Eddie. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They, they lost that. I don't was... care what you know. What interests me is talking about this place, Scarborough. Mm -hmm. I never seen it on the map. I don't know where it is. All I know is my private chauffeur got me here today. Your streets are so narrow. I'm afraid to drive on your streets with my Mercedes because everything looks one way to me. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little cold. I must have get it here because it's pretty drafty in your arena. There's little holes all over the place. Anyway, let's get back you, to this finished? wrestling arena here are in Scarborough. No, I'm not finished. Trey Travis, Trey the Travis. big man, the big cowboy anchor with punch. the cowboy hat, the anchor punch. He's trying to teach Gino Brito Jr. how to hit with a hank anchor punch. I call it a hanker punch like the Frenchmen do. I want to tell you something. Can you make a dog that barks talk? No. Well, you think he's going to make a guy like Brito Jr. hit with that anchor punch. Can you make a baby walk when they're born? I'll tell you, th no you can't. Well listen, cowboy with your cowboy hat and your cowboy boots, you're so damn ugly I hate you. I can't look at your face, Travis. And I'm that's why I'm coming here to Scarborough to prove to you people, to all you Torontonians and Scarborough to show you what men are and to show you what I can do. I'm going to make the biggest cleanup in Scarborough that you ever seen. Yes, it's going to be history.
Okay, can we take some calls now? Take all the calls you want. Okay. There's going to be plenty of women calling me. Yes, but women, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24. I don't want to speak to old women. Just young women. 25 is old? A little on the old side. Okay, i got to agree with you there. Sports talk. Hello, speak to Eddie. He's here. Cut him! Cut him! He's sick! Cut him! I don't want to talk to him. Okay. I don't talk to people that try to imitate me. Okay, you want to try another one? Yes. Okay. Hello, Eddie's here. Creechman. Yes, that's me. Yeah. And I'm Mr. Creechman, sir, to you. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you'll be cut too, so be very careful. I hear you just manage pussy. Yes, I manage plenty. Yeah? Where did you come out of? The farm here? Okay, you ain't got Steve Strong? Have you been sleeping? I haven't got Steve Strong, but I'm going to get Steve Strong, and I'm going to beat the living daylights out of him with my protege. Who's that? What are you calling me for to ask me the who's that? The gentleman would like to know who is going to beat I want to ask Strong. you something, sir. Do you live in the village or on the outskirts? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Do you think Jason I'm asking you a strong? simple question. Jason Guy's going to beat Strong? Yes, Jason's going to beat Strong. Jason, Friday the 13th, is going to show your Trey Travis and your Britos what he can do. Okay, all kidding aside. Yeah, all kidding aside. How come you guys don't get into it with Hulk Hogan and the rest of the life? Hogan, let me tell you something, sonny boy. I managed Hawk Hogan years ago. He was nobody and he's still nobody. And I'm going to tell you something. With my protégés, like Abdullah the Butcher and all my men, Hawk Hogan stays away from Eddie the Brain Creechman because I'm the biggest and the best and the highest rated manager in the wrestling world. So let's put that in your pipe and smoke it, buddy. How come no matches? No matches? Hey, you're Have you been sleeping? Mind. Have you been dreaming? Hey, how come you guys... Tell me, do you work for a living? How come you don't fight... Do you me? work for a living? Answer my question. Sure. You do? Sure. Well, did you have your supper? Well, you better try and digest it, my friend, because you don't know what you're talking about. Cut him off. He's cut off. He went away anyway, so that was, that was extremely... Anybody rude. talks nice to Eddie Creechman... They get a nice answer. Okay, you're on the line with Eddie. Talk to him. I don't even know if I really want to talk to him. I don't care if you don't want to talk to me. You just don't have to no, because I'm pretty independent. I can tell where you come from. Where do Scarborough. I? Yeah, Scarborough. Yeah, isn't that a wonderful village? Scarborough in Toronto. Yeah, in Toronto. Don't call it Toronto now. You live in Scarborough, not Toronto. You live on the outskirts where the Indians are. And I didn't even call to want to talk to you. Well, what did you call for? I want to Who? talk about some real sports. You want to talk about some real sports? Not safe, You bro. seem like a real sport. You're just... What are you wasting your time talking That's to me then for, for, you idiot? What are you calling me for? I think you're an Let's idiot. Let's see if you... I'm an insane. Let me tell you something, you're idiot. An idiot. You called me, idiot. I didn't call you. I don't even want to know your telephone number. You've probably been waiting like everybody else to talk to Eddie the Brain Creechman. This is all you've got to do. I want to, to talk do. about real sports, not fake... You don't know nothing about sports. You're an idiot. You don't know nothing about sports. I don't want to talk to you anyway. You live in Scarborough. I had to save that for it. I'm sorry, sir, but this guy is insane, as you say. Insane! I'm going to bounce some names off you here. You right? can bounce any names that you want. Okay, first off, uh, Steve Strong. We talked about him earlier. Uh, what's the deal with Steve? What do you mean, what's the deal with Steve? Well, I mean, here's a guy who uh, was, uh, what was he, managed by you at one point? He was. He turned against me. He was an idiot. This man picks up six, seven hundred pounds where you were talking about Hogan before. Why did you come and challenge Steve Strong? Why did you show the people of Toronto that you can lift up more weight than Steve Strong? Yes, Hogan, I am challenging you for Steve Strong, and he's not even on my side. Can you imagine that? You freak. Okay, You're okay. yellow. Okay, let's, let's get off Hulk Hogan for a second. Uh, now, the De La Serra's have said that uh, they are... Now you're talking now about scientific wrestlers that they are your now adopted sons. Is this right? Yes. Floyd has made this great combination, and I'm proud of my son, pretty boy Floyd, and I am ready to convert and to take care of these guys because they converted for me. 
Okay, let's take another call. You gonna be nice to this guy? I'm nice to everybody. Okay, you're on the line. Talk to Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Yeah. Mr. Eddie. Mr. Eddie. That's better. How old are you? Eleven. Eleven? Well, I'll talk to you. You're my friend. Do you like wrestling? Yeah. Are you gonna come to the matches in Scarborough? Yeah. Do you live in Scarborough? Yes. Say yes to that. Pardon? Say yes to that. Yes, if you want to, be polite. Yeah. Well, I think that's very nice. What's your name? Blair. Pardon? Blair. Blair. Well, Blair, when you come to Scarborough Arena, ask for me, I'll remember you, and I'll shake your hand. Okay. Okay, my boy? Thank you. Could I have one more question? Yes. Why don't you take a girl the butcher to the WWF and take on... Let me tell you something, son. Everybody is uh, scared of Abdullah the Butcher because my big Abdullah the Butcher is not uh, scared of nobody in WWF and they darn well know it. What, and what is that, uh, Kamala? Kamala? I managed Kamala, That's son. Right. I know Kamala. I managed every wrestler in the book. I managed Hogan. I managed Kamala. I managed everybody. And I'm not finished yet, son. But right now, I'm with the top. I manage only the best. And I have to come to Scarborough Arena. So what can I do? I'll just come here with my men and prove to you people in Scarborough. I know that Scarborough is fenced in. You people don't get out too much. No, no, so I'm no, going to no, come no. in and I'm going to show you no, people no, no, please, what I got please, please. and who I manage. How much does a girl the butcher weigh? Ooh. How much do you think he weighs, son? It's 500? No, but not far from it. And I'm going to tell you something. He's like lightning. He's fast, powerful, strong, and heavy. And when he gets into the ring with this Italian star, Gino Brito, let me tell you no, something, no. my Italian friends. You better get ready because there's going to be a lot of spaghetti sauce flowing. Yes, it's going to flow because I hate spaghetti. And I hate even more spaghetti sauce. So, Gino Brito, you're going to get it. Son, you be there early. I'll shake your hand and bring your friends to Scarborough Arena to see Eddie the Brain Creechman, okay? What time does it start? 8 p.m., you be there, all right. Thank you. You're on the phone with Eddie. Uh, hello, Mr. Eddie. Yes, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you. You're a gentleman. At least you asked me how I am, and you said Mr. Eddie. And I really appreciate it. You know something I want to tell you? I think you'd agree to it. Thank you very much. Oh. You're a connoisseur, sir. You managed one of the best stock teams so far. Well, I think so. I've been managing for many, many years. I've been in the wrestling world for 40 years, and I'm not ready to quit yet. And I've managed the greatest wrestlers. So when anybody talks wrestling to Eddie the Brain Creechman, I think they know what you're talking about. And I think that you're very bright, sir, because you, you address me as Mr. Eddie Creechman. You are a man that's been watching wrestling. Oh, you I, know what I did. I watch wrestling every week. You watch it every week. I, are you, are you going to come to Scarborough Arena? Yeah. Well, I wish you do and bring your friends, sir. And I'll be there. And whoever you are, I'll say hello to you. Um, by the way, what happened to Sheikh Ali? Sheikh Ali has gone back to Arabia, but he'll be back here. I think he was scared of Steve Strong, wasn't he? Yes, he was a little scared. He was a little leery of him. But what can you do? Steve Strong is a strong man. Anyway, by the way, when Abdullah the Butcher and Steve Strong was fighting, yes. why do you and your son have to interfere in the match? Now look, sir, we were both talking to each other just a second ago. We agreed, and now we're starting to disagree. I never, never, never interfere into any of my men's matches. Oh, please. Never, because We've I want to tell you here. something. We're going to show this And my son here. neither, because this I want to tell you something. My men know what to do before they get into the ring, because I talk to them, How and I tell them before what to do. How come you had a neck brace at one time? Pardon? How come you had a neck brace at one time? A I neck brace? Yes. Oh, I twisted my neck the wrong way, that's all. That's bullshit. Oh, is that nice on radio? Yeah. I was respecting you, but I want to tell you something, man. I'm not respecting you anymore, man. I'm going to tell you, you're making me pretty nervous. Listen to me. And you listen to me. You can buy back in Scarborough. And I'd like to see you at Scarborough Arena, and you tell me that you're the silly ass that was talking to me, young man. I don't like you at all, man. I don't like what you're saying, and I know who you are, man. And you get off my phone right now and get off my back, man. He's gone. He's gone, Eddie.
I guess he hung up in... He's gone, all right. Respect. You ready for another call? Yes. You sure? Yes. Your, your, your blood pressure's okay? My pressure is A1. Okay, okay, let's take this call. Don't get Eddie upset, guys, okay? Sports talk, I think. You're on the air. Yeah, hello, hi, gentlemen. How are you? Very Fine, good. thank you, sir. That's good. Um, I just want to know, uh, the name of the show is Sports Talk, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so... Why don't you cut him off? Cut him off right away. No, no, cut him no, off. I think, I Anybody think that don't call here okay. to talk to me and want to be big men and they don't know what they're talking about sports. <laughs> what do you think this is? A basketball game or something? No, sir, Mr. Creasman. Um, yes, what do you think it is? A basketball game? Um, why do they call you the brain? Ooh. Because I am the brain. Oh, I understand that. I am the brain, sir. Right. You, um... Tell me, sir. Yes, sir. Is this, you, you called here and you asked if this is a sports program. No, I, the name is Sports Talk, but um, I don't know what... Well, it's Sports Talk, and I'm talking to you. It sounds like you're resorting to a circus, because... Uh, I want to tell you something, man. You're another one that I don't want to talk to, man. Oh, uh, Mr. I don't want to talk to you, man. What you I know who you are, too. I'm Terry? And I don't have to look at you to know who you are. Taylor, what? <laughs> you know Don... Uh, John, John, you hey, I think you're a little mixed up, man. You think you was in the jungle. No. He was in the wrong place. Okay, you want him Yeah, you in Scarborough. Okay, Eddie called for the hook. What about this cat, Jason? Where, what's the story with him? Why don't you go to Jason uh -huh. and tell him to his face that he's Cat Jason? Oh, because he's always wearing this. You know, all you mask. radio guys but this were all so brave behind TV, the microphones, it? you remind me of Travis. Travis? The great Travis? boxing trainer. The great manager who is becoming one of the biggest promoters here in Toronto, Scarborough, and Ontario. And I'm going to tell you something, Trey Travis. Why don't you go back to boxing where you belong? Why don't you mind your business? Why don't you stop showing people how to punch? You don't even know how to punch your way out of a wet paper bag. I'm going to tell you something, Trey. I don't like your face. I don't like your boots that you wear. I don't like your hat you wear. And even more, I hate your face. Okay. So uh, get away from me. On that pleasant note, we're going to a match, and I'm going to show you right now. You lie. You lie. I never lie. You lie I'm because a man of my word. Right here that I'm you a man in a of match. my word. Let's go into that match right go now. Go right ahead. Here we have highlights of the Abdullah the Butcher Gino Brito senior match that took place in a in an arena recently. Abdullah the Butcher taking the worst of the punches of Gino Brito right now on the ring side, of course, is Eddie the Brain Creechman. Always dangerous. Right now, Creechman's very quiet as Gino has got Abdullah in a, it, There's 431 pounds there, wrestling fans. And Gino Brito is a very strong competitor, but there's still. 431 pounds there in that huge body of Abdullah the Butcher. He takes up half the screen as he is a, he, he looks like he's bleeding from the top of the head right now. Abdullah the Butcher is a savage, George Cannon. He's an animal, and he goes into that ring to injure his opponents. You see that? You see the chop to the throat of Gino Brito Jr. Senior? There's a lot of power when Abdullah throws a punch, I can tell you that. But Gino's no slouch either. These are just highlights of the match. It must have been a very exciting match all the way through. It was a long and gory match. <laughs> because Abdullah now has got Gino in the corner. He's working Gino over, but Gino's coming back. He has Abdullah spread over the bottom rope. Take a look at the shoes of Abdullah the Butcher. Nice. He's been known to put things in the points of his shoes. He's been known to carry things in his shoes, carry things in his trunks. You never know what Abdullah the Butcher is going to do next, wrestling fans. And Gino Brito Sr. is watching. Oh, wait a minute. There's the brain. There's Creechman using the cane on Brito. I didn't we, see it. I we didn't had see to it. know that sooner or later he would try and do something. He knows that as big as Abdullah is, he's outmatched by Brito Sr. That's your opinion, Dino. Wait, 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 what's he going for now? Watch this. A suplex. Ooh, unbelievable. 431 pounds. This is a first. Woo. <laughs> Gino's touching his back, though. It looks like his sacroiliac might have been thrown out. That could do something to your lumbars and your sacroiliac. Don't try that, wrestling fans. Don't try that on Mother, even though she doesn't weigh 431. Abdullah coming back up on his feet because Gino is pulling him. 
The brain is over in the corner. He looks a little worried about the proceedings. These are just some of the many highlights that took place in this match. Look at that body slam! <laughs> Ooh, look at this, Gino Brito. He's got a duel in the figure four now leg lock. Is. The match is just about all over. Here comes the brain. What is he up to? Brain is handing something to Abdullah. Let's get a camera in there close. Let's see what it is. It's some kind of powder. He's taking it off of Creechman. He's putting it inside of the box. His massive weight hides the fact that he has something in his hand. The referee's standing over him. Abdullah turns around. Here it is, the powder of Brito's face. <laughs> oh, that maniacal laugh of Floyd Creechman in the background. Uh, Eddie, you... Uh you lit a cigar, that's nice. Uh, yeah. You want one? Yeah, I'd love to yeah. try one of your cigars. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very sure. much. Sure. Thank you very much. This isn't going to explode, is it? Who knows? Okay. <clears throat> I have to light that in a bomb shelter. Yeah. But uh, anyways, we're going to go to one quick call, then we've got a special guest coming up. Sports Talk. Talk to Eddie. Hello, Mr. Eddie. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Uh, first of all, Mr. Eric, before yes. I talk to you, I'd like to say, Dave, I love you, sir. I think it's great. Hey, thank it's you. very functional. Thank oh, you, yeah. sir. I think that you're a great connoisseur. Thank you. I'm Thank calling you. from the village as well, Mr. Eddie. What do you think of that? Well, not a bad village. I guess you live in it. Oh, that's not too bad. I mean, if so they're all... all bigger than a village. If they're all like you, it's all right. Thank you. Okay, sir. Now, I'll okay, see you. Ready? Ready. Go. Skinny headhunters. Are they tough as they say? Well, if you'd like to try them out, you'd find out. <laughs> How tough are they? They're very tough. I've heard rumors, though. You've heard rumors. That they're not as tough as they think. Can they take, could they ever take the killer bees? Oh, please. Oh, my God. Me and Eddie could take you the know, killer bees. You know, now you're coming out with nothing. You know, killer bees. But I got some Who work. are they, killer bees? I got some work stuff for you, Eddie. You got what? I've got some other stuff for you. Yeah, what do you got for you me? Said, you said you managed Hulk Hogan. Yes, I managed him in the Paul Sova Arena. But okay, against the giant. He fired you for incompetence. Who well, fired me? Nobody fires me. I'm the boss. Okay? I got the contracts. They can't fire me. I fire them. So I guess you're wrong. Well, okay, I'm... sir? Let's go. Okay, just like that. Eddie, he calls the shots here, okay? Because if not, you know, I'll <laughs> get Jason on my tail here. That's for sure. Road Warriors are uh, on their way to uh, international wrestling. Yes, Road Warriors are on their the way. Number one tag team in the world, am I not correct? Yes, they are. Number one. Nobody better. Now, are you going to uh, be picking up their management by any possible? Well, they have a manager, but uh, he and I get along very, very well. So They'll you be do, a little there for me. So you do see eye to eye. Yes, we do see eye to eye. Now, you, uh, it's rumored also, are the one that uh, brought Andre the Giant to uh, the shores of North America. Yes, I was one of the men who really handled Andre the Giant. But anyway, Andre the Giant is over the hill. He's mm. a has-been now. He's all over with. You don't hear nothing about Andre the Giant. Kind of like you, I guess. I mean, huh? Over the hills? You're no. taking very big chances again. Yeah, I guess Don't so. get me mad now. Okay, okay. I'm telling you right now. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, a special guest, and speaking of under the hill, here he is. Floyd, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yes, Floyd? The man I'm... of the hour, too sweet to be sour. Yes, the man of the hour, the man with the power, too sweet to be sour. I want you to know one thing. I'm sitting alongside of my pool. I got seven good-looking women around me. I'm coming up. Drinks, serving me food. And you know, I'm <laughs> about my father because he's stuck in Scarberia. You people call it Scarborough, Ontario, but I call it Scarberia. And you know one thing? Oh. We're going to be there on June the 24th. And you know what I'm looking forward to seeing? See, you know, I, yeah. the match. Tell him, Floyd, tell him. The match between Gino Brito Jr., that young punk with the red hair, and his manager or his trainer that calls himself the Cowboys, <laughs> Travis, who's going around town and bragging that he trained Eddie Mello and bragging that he trained that he trained for Lionel. Well, these guys are nobody. I never heard of these guys. He's going to be facing the nun. Hey, there is a rumor, though, Floyd, that you started that says that uh, Gino Brito Jr. is not Gino Brito Sr.'s uh, real son. Well, you know, you want to hear the story about it. You know, if you go Absolutely. back 20 years, my father told me, he said, when Gino Brito was away in Australia, his wife got pregnant. I don't know from who, and this kid came out, and they named him Gino Brito Jr. To me, I don't believe he's his real son. Why is you that? You know what, Floyd? You know what, Floyd? They're trying to corner me here in this village. 
They're trying to make it miserable for me, and I'm glad that you called. I'm glad that you told this cowboy what you think of him. Well, you know, Daddy, the people in Scarberia, Scarborough, Ontario, they got no respect for the Creechman family. But we're coming there with Jason Friday the 13th, with Rocky oh. Becerra. He's going to go in the ring against Gino Brito Jr. They're going to have a pole in the middle of the ring, and on the top of the pole, they're going to have a sock, and inside the sock, they're going to have a roll of quarters. You hear that? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The first one, the first one to get the sock with the roll of quarters is going to use it. Now, I don't have to tell you people who's going to come out victorious. It's going to be Rocky De La Sera. Gino Brito Jr. Travis is going to ride, drive around Toronto in his big Mercedes with a big box of Kleenex. Yeah. He's going to be crying. Did you hear what Floyd said? Travis is going to walk, drive in his Mercedes with a big box of Kleenex, and he's going to cry, that miserable character. Not only that, you know, we got all the eggs in the same basket because on the same card, we got the father, Gino Brito, who's make, <laughs> making his return. The, the living legend, right, Floyd? He's, after he came out of the deep freeze, he's going to be in a cage with Abdullah the Butcher. Did you people hear what my son said? Gino Brito Sr. came out of the deep freeze. <laughs> I have my father to repeat, because the people are a little bit, a few steps under me, you understand? she got to repeat it two times. Well, it's a village here, Floyd. I beg your pardon, Father. It's, it's a village here. I know, I know. I was it's looking for Scarberia. Scarberia, it's not even on the map. No. Well, Floyd, You're I blind. thank you very much for calling and helping me out. I want to tell all the people that Jason is going to be facing sadistic Steve Strong. And don't forget about Gino Brito Jr. against Rocky De La Serra And Abdullah the Butcher, the big cage match against Gino Brito the father. And also, don't forget, you want to put the icing on the cake. You got the tag team champions, Richard Charlan, Pretty Boy Chuck Sim. Wow. I'm going to be there with my valet, Sugar, also. I want Sugar? To say I'm in oh, my God. Ariel. Floyd, one more question. Yes. Can I take Sugar out after the match? Well, that depends. How much do you weigh? Uh, about 145. Oh, you're a little bit. You know, if you had that extra 100 pounds, I'd give you a few bottles of champagne, yeah. a $1,000 bill, and you'd be able to go all around town with sugar. But she likes the big man with the big arms. She likes my protégés because they're champions. Okay, that's your opinion, Floyd. But we got to say thanks for calling. I right, thank you. Thank you. We love you. Okay, and on that uh, sour note, I guess... <laughs> Yeah, you like hearing My from son is always yeah, there to... Yeah, yeah. He's Follow always there for the that. rescue. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> but he understands. He knows I'm in a small village, and big he city, knows I'm used city. to big cities, oh, so please. he gave me a call. <laughs> okay, we got, a, we got a little break here with uh, Chuck Spider-Jones and Trey Travis. Uh, but first, before that, we're going to go to the trivia question. Now, what you're going to win tonight are a pair of tickets. I don't know if you want to use them now. I'm very mad. Guys, Who's giving those tickets there. away? I am giving them Why away. Why give them away? Sell those tickets! Because Trey Travis gave Trey them. Trey Travis! The Who do you think you punch. are? Trey Travis giving tickets away? Okay, anyways, we got a trivia question, and thanks to Trey Travis because he is a gentleman. Let's go to the I board here, it. Eddie. Uh, there's a question. I know you know this one. Name the three Vachons who have competed in the international wrestling circuit. Uh, you want me to tell the people? No, 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 no. You want me to no, tell no, the no, people? No. We're going to go to a break. We'll be you right want back. Me to cheat? We'll be right back presentation. We're having a good time here. Uh, don't watch Cosby, please. Uh, name the three Vashons who have competed in the international wrestling. I know who. Wrestling. We don't want you to tell, Eddie, because you, you already There's got There's nothing I don't know about wrestling. I know, I know. I know I gotta, all the answers. I gotta give you that. Gotta give you that. You've been in the sport for, what, 70 years now? You can add the years if you want to. I don't care. Okay. We got a call. You ready for one here? Yeah, I'm okay. ready. Thanks for hanging on the line. You're uh, talking to Eddie. Okay, Eddie. How's it going? Not bad. You, my friend. Uh, this Jason guy, is he the guy from the, the actual... You didn't tell me how you were. I said, you asked me how I was. I said, fine, how are you? You didn't answer me. Fine, don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. No, don't worry about me. Okay? What are you worried about? So, this Jason guy, did you actually get him from the movie, or...? What are you worried where I got him? Why don't you step in the ring with him, Smarty? Okay. I mean, what do you weigh, about 115 pounds? 245. Wet or what? Yeah. Yeah. Poppin'. I can tell just by your voice. Now you're proud. You're like all the rest of the people calling up here, challenging this one, challenging that one. What do you do for a living? Grease monkey or something? Huh? I got the answer to your trivia question. Okay, fire away. You might win a pair of tickets. Okay, Maurice, Mad Dog, Vachon. You got him. Paul the Butcher, Vachon. You won! No, hold on. There's one more. And Vivian, Vachon. You got it. Well done, sir. All right. 
Okay, you want to hang on the line? I know you don't want to talk to Eddie. Hang anymore. on the line. Yeah. Want to talk. You can hang as far as I'm concerned. Okay, hang on. We're going to get your uh, name and... Uh, wait, yeah, I... give me his address. I want to know where he lives, this guy. What? what? Give me his address and give me his phone number. I want to know where he is, this smart guy. I want he his smart. address. He is smart. You got the... Yeah, well, he ain't going to be too smart when I go to his house. But, you know, uh, hang on the line and you're going to have to come and pick him up, okay? Yeah, come here while so I'm hang here. On there. Why don't you go. come now? You guys got him? All right, we got him, I guess. If not, just show up and pick him up. Mm. Mm. Show up. How's the coffee here, Eddie? You like Very it? Very good. It's free. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a big word with you, yeah. right? Free? Yeah. Okay. I love coffee. this studio. I can't get over it. It's beautiful, isn't it? There's a mirror facing the other way. No, that isn't a mirror. Yeah. What is it, a wall? No, that's a glass partition. Oh, a glass, a glass partition? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's a big God. word, partition, actually. Oh, very big word. Are you ready for another call? I'm ready, man. Okay, you're talking to Eddie. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Well, I know you're there. Talk. Is this Chuck Spider Jones? I want to talk. Hey, listen, Eddie. Talk! Come on, talk! I'm going to tell you something. Come on, you're getting me nervous. I'm a good buddy of the Cowboys, Trey Travis. I don't care about you and Trey Travis. You're probably just like him. What, are you living near his farm? A ranch? <laughs> You're a friend of Trey Travis. I was there in 1966 for my... And I know who you are, too. You're short and fat and plump. No, I'm, I'm tall, black, and beautiful. Black and beautiful? And, and tall, six foot two. Oh, uh, are you related to Abdullah? I, want to, I know him, I know him, but I'll tell you something, and I hope Rito cleans his clock. You hope he cleans his clock. Well, I want to tell you something, man. Abdullah's going to beat the living daylights out of that Italian star. There's gonna be Italian sausage. There's gonna be meat sauce. There's gonna be everything under the sun. I doubt it, I doubt you it. doubt it, what do you doubt it? Where do you come from, man? Where do you come from, man? What do you know? Let me, let me say something. You can't say nothing, you let said him, it let up. Let talk, let the man talk. I don't wanna let, let him talk. talk. You wanna talk, you come to Scarborough Arena. And I'll face me, you big six I'll foot tall. Rocky Delacero. Gonna... Rocky Delacero. What do you know about Rocky Delacero? He's going to hit your cowboy so hard oh. that your cowboy is going to be in the same class as Mello, Chevallo, and all the rest of them. All He's right, going to be picking up daisies. I'll tell you what, I'd like, to, I'd like to put a bet on that. You'd like to put what? A bet. He'd like to put a bet on it. You'd like to I'll put a bet on who? On your cowboy? The McDonald's. McDonald's? <laughs> well, I don't eat hamburgers. I know it's all made for the same thing, but I don't eat it. I don't like your action, but I'll tell you something. You got a good match. You got a good match coming up here. I'll give you credit for that. Thank you very much. Now I know you're a kind of there. Now I know you're a nice guy. He is. Now I know you're a good guy. I'll tell you something. I'm waiting to see. I, really I know you're on my side. I know you're on my side. I want to see what rock. No, I'm not. What do you mean you're not? You just said you were. The man is out doing the butcher. It's got to be nuts. This man's an animal. He's an animal, eh? Be allowed to you're addressing him as an animal right. on TV. Me? Well, uh, you're saying right on the on the open air here that Abdullah is an animal. The guy shouldn't be allowed here. Why are you allowed here? Hey, was, we let everybody around I here. Saw he, I saw what he did to Tito Brito Jr., man. You didn't see nothing, man. You didn't see nothing. You're going to see what he's going to do to Gino Brito Jr. and his father. We're going to beat the living daylights out of both of them. We'll see. We got something up our sleeve in Scarborough Arena that the cowboy's hat is going to fly off of I'm going to make sure the cops are there, too. I'm going to make sure the cops are You I'm can bring the cops. You can bring your friends. And you be there and tell me who you are. Yeah, you're like all the rest of them. Come yellow. Here. You're talking behind the microphone. You're yellow. Why don't you come face to face with me? Give me something before. Why don't you come face to face with me? Before I hang up. Oh, hang up. I'm you don't know what you're talking about. I'd like to hang you myself, personally. I'd like to hang you by the throat until your face changes colors. Well, you may I'd my love to I may be coming that. after you. You're going to come after me. I'm waiting for you. You're yellow. Why don't you come right now? Be the guy sitting Why there. are you waiting? Are you in the village here? Why don't you come? Get him out of there. I don't you're yellow. Right. You're yellow. Okay, you you uh, are alienating our audience here, Eddie, and I think I don't care. They're being anybody uh, who threatens me from far. Gentlemen, enough to phone you up and try and talk. Oh, up. Try and the carry on the conversation. Are hot. Everybody's trying to talk to Eddie the Brain. Ooh, the God. man started off the right way and then he ended like a moron. I know he's a moron, I could tell, and that's why he couldn't stand it. He had to bang the phone. When I told him, come to Scarborough, in your village, in your arena, in your barn, in your shack, 
It's a disgrace. I went there today to look at the arena. It's meant for animals. It's meant for cattle. It's a barn. This is the way you people live in Scarborough. I hate it. Okay, I we got another call. You're on the air with Eddie. Yeah, Eddie. <laughs> yeah. Listen, a couple of things, okay? Never. Uh, tell me one. Never mind a couple. I know you're a connoisseur. Number one. So kind Scarborough got some wrestling. I'm glad to see it's around, anyhow. Yeah, well, you're lucky because Scarborough usually don't get anything around here. Yeah, number yeah. two. Yeah. What is it with you and this Abdullah the Butcher? What do you mean, what is it with me and Abdullah the Butcher? Hey, hey, what is the guy, 300 years old? Come on. Look, let me tell you something, Smarty. How old are you? How old are you, Smarty? <laughs> I thought you were 300 because, you you know, you told me he's 300. Eddie, come on. Like, I mean, you're putting on a get -over. Come on, Abdullah. I can remember this guy. Hey. I was a kid. This hey, guy. you're still a kid. You're still a kid. I'm listening to you talk, and I can tell you're a kid. Eddie, Eddie. You don't know what you're talking about. You know, the social insurance number probably has just one digit. That's how long the guy's been around, okay? Well, you must have been around that long to know. You must have been around that long to know. The other thing I want to talk yeah, about. Yeah, what, what's the other thing, kind of there? Do you think your guy's a headhunter could beat the heart? Oh, now you're talking about the headhunters. Let me tell you something. Could they beat the They're good enough to hunt somebody like you. Could okay? They the Heart Foundation. Heart Foundation. They beat them? Listen, what are you coming to me with Heart Foundation? I had all these guys. I know all these guys. Why don't they just come and face us? Because they know we are the real big stars. They know that Eddie Creechman, the brain, has been around for 40 years. Yes, I have. And I have the experience. And I'm on the right side. And I'm with the right guys. And you don't know what you're talking about. And I don't care what you say to me. Because you're no kind of fair. And I'm not going to give you a chance to talk. Because I got the floor right now. I'm sitting on the TV cameras. And you're sitting home because you're used to being home. You're probably on welfare, so that's all you got to do, okay? So get somebody else that can discuss with me, that can talk with me. Okay, how about me? Sorry, sir, but... You're uh, even worse. What do you mean I'm worse? You're even worse! I'm beautiful, what are you talking about? Yeah, you're about? beautiful. Hey, look at this suit. $500 suit. Suit, Kmart. $500 You're wearing suit. jeans, you should be ashamed Those are jeans, those look are designer jeans. Look at this That's a beautiful look at tie. I look wouldn't this wear a tie like that. Here. Look at this, this jacket. Is English look at this tweed. cheap cigar This is gave English me. tweed, my cheap. friend. I got this for five cents down at the corner store. Give it back to me, store, I'm very fussy. I hope it explodes in your face, too. But you know what? Get somebody else. I'm not here wasting my time talking to you. How about Edward Carponti? What's... What's going on with Edward? He's over the hill. He's gone. Yeah, well, he used to be uh, quite the nemesis for you. Yeah, he uh, was. He you. was. He was. All these guys were, but they're gone. I'm still here. They're all gone. They're finished. Okay. Who, all he can do is announce now. This, the, I got to admit one thing, Eddie, and that is the uh, wrestlers you do bring to the organization. <laughs> you, you extensively scout... Uh, you're uh, saying Africa, like everybody else said. Europe. I wonder where Creechman gets them. Yeah, I wonder exactly. how he does it. Mm -hmm. Where does he get all these wrestlers? Exactly. Well, it's for me to know and for you dumb people to try and find out. Okay, and we're going to another call on that. Another sour note. Can you believe it? Sports Talk, you're on the air. Hello, I have 15 minutes. How long will it be? It's none of your business how long it's going to be. Just talk. What do you want to know? How long will it be until Eddie... Get rid of him! Get rid of him! Get rid of this guy! Okay. Don't waste your time with him! That's it! Okay, okay. New Guinea Headhunters, I gotta disagree with you. I saw their match there. They lost. These guys are, uh... They lost? They lost. Where did you see them lose? It, on that tape. You must have been sick! Somebody doctored You know, I think you got Alzheimer's or something. No, no, I don't yeah. have Alzheimer's disease. But, you know... Come on, get people on the line. They want to talk to me. The phones are red hot. I got something Look I at want that. to say to you. What do you want to say to me? There's nothing you can say to me. The New Guinea Headhunters. You said that they're three old, times. They're slow, they're fat, they're out of shape, <laughs> and they weigh about... They weigh, what, you what know, do they weigh? Kid, 240. How much do you weigh? I'm not a professional. How much wrestler. do you weigh? I'm not a professional. But how wrestler. much do you weigh? You didn't give me your answer. 145 solid pounds. 145 bones, skin and beautiful, bones. Are you, beautiful. When did you last see a doctor? Uh, about two weeks ago. Because you don't look too good. Well, I'm gonna What's see your one, doctor's name? I'm going to see one tomorrow to get the fleas out of my hair from sitting You next better, day. because you're full of fleas. Okay, let's go to another call here. Sports doc, you're on the air. Eddie the Brain Creature. Look, Smarty, you want me to cut you off right away? Uh, do you, you want, want everybody to know who you are? Benz convertible? What did he say? Do you want a gray Mercedes-Benz convertible? No, you tell me, Smarty. You tell me. You're a great connoisseur. You I want did. You don't anymore, sucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that all you wanted to do, call me? He's gone. Okay. He's sick. They're all sick here. <laughs> Sports talk. You're, uh...
talking to Eddie if you can get a word in edgewise. Hello, uh, Eddie. Yes. Uh, where do you get your groovy clothes, man? Bergen Herald's? Ooh, good one. Ooh, like there's it. another smarty. You must live in a big, high-class village, too, eh? Yeah. I like to see what you wear. Yeah. Yeah, you must be really well-dressed. Sure, you and your... Yeah, sure. Okay. You and your son, yeah, yeah. Hi. What else do you want to say, kid? Okay. What do you do for a living? Listen. Drive a bicycle? Huh? Pedal a bicycle? Is that what you do for a living? Yeah. Uh, I figured that. You found yeah. Face. Yeah, ugly face. Uh... I'm ugly. I'm a good-looking man. I hate to see you when you be my age, buddy, because you wouldn't last that long. Listen, no, yellow, you listen. No, you're yellow. I'm yellow, eh? Yeah. Why don't you come to the studio here if you're so brave? Oh, you know where everybody knows where I am. Fast. You're all yellow. Oh, you're yeah. all farmers in this village. Yeah, you're not used to speaking to people. Get them off. Get them off. Get them off. Fourth stock, you're on the air. Uh, hello. 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 You're welcome. Um, thank you very much for coming on the program, Mr. Creechman. Thank you, sir. Oh. Just wanted to say to Dave that you just do a wonderful job. Thank uh, you really very much. Really a great job. No, oh, to oh. Dave, he said thank to me. Thank you, sir. He said to me. Thank you, sir. He said to well, me. Well, I'm thanking him for you because you're not smart enough to answer him. I just said thank you, sir. Oh. Uh, Mr. Creechman. Yes. Did uh, Toronto have a parade for you coming in? I saw lots of... Uh... Toronto, they certainly had a parade for me, but I didn't go into Toronto. I stopped in the village on the way up. Anyway, could you tell me... Uh, what... And you live in that village, too. No, I don't. I can tell because you're talking about Toronto. It's... Now, don't try to make that you come from Toronto when you live in Scarborough. Well, I happen to come from Toronto, yeah. You ha yeah, but now you're in the village. You found Toronto too small for you, so you came to Scarborough. Well, no, I came out to Scarborough uh, to, to, to listen you. to me. Yeah, yeah, I figured yeah. that. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, anything else you want to tell me? Yeah, I just wanted to ask you, what was one of the, the greatest matches in your illustrious career that you've managed? Yvon Robert against Bobby Manigoff. That's a little before your time, about 35 years ago. How does that answer you? Mm. Yeah, what happened? What happened? What, what made it so great? You want me to start explaining to you about the match? Yeah. Because there were two good scientific wrestlers, and that was one of the best matches that I ever managed. I was young, they were young, and I had just started one of the famous wrestlers into the wrestling world. And Does that give you your answer? Yeah. Well, and when you started your career... And you know that every time Eddie Creature manages a wrestler, there's action. Action and a lot of scientific moves. Yeah, a lot of them, boy. How long Fingers in the eyes and, <laughs> and things like that. How, how long did it take you to acquire all your wrestling skills? Well, I just told you I've been in the wrestling business for 40 years. So you're still learning things, right? So I'm still learning every day, yeah. And you're teaching me a few right now. And, and one last question is, how do you communicate with... People like the New Giddy Headhunters and mm. the Butcher, you know. You're asking me the same question that everybody else does. Well, they wonder how I speak to them. Well, let me tell you something, buddy. Money talks. <laughs> and I won't say the word walks, okay? What? He doesn't understand. <laughs> you understand okay. that, sir? Okay? Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Creek. Thank you, sir. It's been my pleasure. Okay. Good night, Dave. Bye. Good night. Uh, so that was more of a call to your liking, I guess. Yeah, right? sure, sure. He wasn't bad after all, the guy. Yeah, so you like the, the connoisseur. Yeah, yeah, he's okay. Okay, you would call him a connoisseur of professional? Well, uh, not a connoisseur, but uh, he's on the ladder. Okay. I've he's got, on the way up. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Well, you... Being quest a peon of professional wrestling? You being a peon of... Who, who's a peon of professional wrestling? I am. Oh, I'm, I'm asking the uh, renowned... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, manager well, you're really of... stunning me, you know. Yeah. Because I look at you, yeah. and I look at your actions, uh -huh. and I think you're going to fall every time you open your mouth. Oh, dear. But, you know, uh, your most... Who would you rate as... You... Yeah, I'm stumbling now. Yeah, you're stumbling now, right? <laughs> Don't stumble over your words now. Okay, most, a trip. most overrated wrestler in the sport today. Who would you say that is? Today? Yeah. Abdullah the Butcher. Most overrated? Yeah, overrated. Why do you say overrated? Because I want to see what you're going to say. I, I can't believe it. I'm speechless. You, would you call asked me. me a question, so I gave you an answer. Who is the most underrated? Underrated? Yeah. Gino Brito. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we got a phone and call. And ask me who is the most underrated promoter. Who is the most underrated promoter? Trey Travis. Trey Travis. Yeah. Okay. Can we take a phone call here? Yeah, go ahead. Hello, you're on the air with Eddie. Hi. Hi. Hi, Eddie. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Um, pretty good. That's good. At least I got a lady that called me. Finally. Finally. I'm a wrestling freak. 
You are? Yep. And okay. so are my kids, my year old son. Uh huh. And we like the Can Am. Yeah, you like the Can Am. Yep, and George the Animal Steel. Well, I'm glad you like them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I hear you uh, had Hulk Hogan, eh? Sure, I had Hulk Hogan. Yeah? Sure, before they made him a star. That's true, yeah. What yeah. about Andre the Giant? I had him, too. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That sounds pretty good. You sound like a nice man. Thank you very much, ma'am. I know you're a connoisseur because you're talking to me like a lady, so I'm talking to you like a gentleman. That's good, Are you going to yeah. come to the matches? Pardon? Are you going to come to the matches in Scarborough? Uh, I was thinking of it. Well, I wish you do. Whereabouts is it? Well, it's at the... Uh, Scarborough Arena. It's at uh, Birch Mountain Kingston Road. Oh, just down the street from me. Yeah. Oh. Come along. Bring your family. Bring your kids and bring your husband. Uh, at 8.30 on Friday? Yeah. No, no it's, it's on, on Wednesday. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's you come say hello to me. I'll know who you are because you're the only lady I spoke to today. Okay, then. Okay, thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm glad you settled down a little. What's the, what's what the, do you mean, settle down? Who okay. do you think you're talking to? What's the deal with a cane? Now, uh, Who knows what's the deal with a cane? You don't need a cane. You've needed a cane for everybody what? Everybody knows Eddie, the brain creatureman, and everybody knows about my cigar, my cane, uh -huh. my Mercedes, my diamonds. Everybody knows all this. So don't try to give me any publicity. Okay, well, why I do just you... gave myself my own publicity. Why do you need a cane? Why do you need a cane to get to the ring? I got a rank? sore leg. So You've I had a sore leg for yeah, 35 years. For 35 years. My, well, did you have that looked at, or? Yeah, it's been checked up. It's uh, it's taking time to heal, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So why are you coming to Toronto, Eddie? Why do you say Toronto when you talk about Scarborough? Well, Scarborough. Why really do you say Toronto, Toronto when you talk but about a village? But when you think now, you're it, getting me all upset again. Scarborough really isn't part of Toronto. It isn't part so of So why are you coming to this... You finally okay. admitted it. Okay. <laughs> why are you coming to this town that you so are vehement I'm coming to this to? town because I hate Trey Travis. He put his nose into the wrestling world, and I want to get his nose cut. I want to get him out of the wrestling world and let him stick to his punchy boxers and keep away from us. And that's it. And that's it. Okay. Hello, you're talking to Eddie. Yeah, I want to ask uh, Eddie something. Okay. Fire away. I think you're a great manager. You got all the money. You got. I see you wearing rings and all this stuff. No, no. Let's not. Let's forget about the money. Talk wrestling, please. Okay. I want to ask you something clear and clear. Do you pay off the referees? Me? Yeah. Do I seem that type of a guy? <laughs> well, you're a great guy. I really like you. But there's one thing about you I don't like. That's I know. Big mouth. I know. And that's what I like about myself. It's my big mouth. Okay. And I'm gonna be in this carburetor. And you haven't even got a big mouth because you're tripping over your words. You don't know what to say. I want to challenge you. And you want to challenge you. You're stable. You're like all the rest of them. You're like all the rest of them. All the rest of the farmers. You want to challenge me behind a microphone about 50 miles away. But of course, you're used to being in a barn and being on the field with the cattle, <laughs> so you don't know any better, you know. I weigh 200 pounds. I'll you weigh 200 pounds. Sure, you're full of baloney. You're 200 pounds. You're just full of baloney. I'll see you in Scarborough. You'll see me in Scarborough. You're darn right you'll see me, but I won't see you because you won't be around me. You'll be yellow like the rest of them. You're yellow. Yeah, I'm yellow. Okay, get somebody else. Okay, I don't okay. know what he's talking about. Uh, you're talking to Eddie, I think. You there? Hello, Eddie? Yes, sir. Okay, I think you're a great manager and all. I know you're going to insult me now <laughs> because everybody that tells me I'm a great manager, I wait okay, to hear what they're going to say. <laughs> Yeah, I'm listening. Okay. You said you had Hulk Hogan. I'm ready for you. You said you had Hulk Hogan, right? Yes. Okay. And how come he became a star then after he left you? He became a star after he left me? Yeah. What kind of a star is he? Oh, boy. Well, where did he come to uh, Jason, Abdullah the Butcher? Where did he come to Steve Strong, a man who lived 700 pounds? What about Hulk Hogan? He could walk Just because he went to the movie or something? This is why they made a star out of him? I don't see why. My men don't go to movies. My men are real tough, rough wrestlers, son. Oh, you're a girl. Don't bother. Listen. You're a girl. Don't bother. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, there you go. go you insulted He's not a patron. Uh, we got another call here. You're talking to Eddie here. Hello. 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 How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Not too bad. You sound good. And if, uh... Made me sick tonight listening to you. Oh, well, I'm glad I did something to you. At least I made you sick. Well, That's one good thing I did in Scarborough. I hope your husband doesn't mind. Pardon me? I hope your husband doesn't mind. Why should he? Why should he? Because I made you sick. 
Yeah. And what are you doing talking to strange men when you're married? <laughs> now, this is true. Why, why, why do you call me? You think you'll get me? No way, ma'am. <laughs> no way. I'm not going to stay in Scarborough. Well, why don't you go home? I'm going home now. Oh. I want to go home. After being in a country like this, I want to go home. Well, I don't care. I mean, I don't blame you because in the village, you haven't got too much to do. Your husband's probably out playing poker or drinking beer. Right here. No, you're talking no, no. to me, you know. You know. First of all, if you were my wife and you talked to strange men, I'd give it to you. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Well, he Are you coming to the wrestling in Scarborough? No, because you're there. I don't blame you. Oh, well, and I won't be there. You come. Mm -hmm. Okay? Sure, well. She doesn't seem too bright. She hasn't got too much to say. She's just saying, eh, 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 No, eh, I, I eh. think she's been the, yeah. one of the more Okay, get somebody calls. else. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for calling. Sports Talk, uh, you're talking to Eddie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're having a good time now. Listen yeah. to this idiot. That's the farmer there. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a good time. Go ahead, go ahead. Have a good time. Let's, let's can that guy. Okay, what is, let's talk about one of the other matches here. Kendo Nagasaki. Kendo no, Nagasaki. No, no. Now you're talking about a real good Japanese wrestler. Uh-huh. He's okay. taking on Dan Crowfat. Dan